All right, guys. This is Cop Watch Ohio. This is what we come home to. Don't know who's. I think it belongs to people who live down the alley. This is what we found when we came home. We called the pody. I'm sure nothing good could come of it. Yeah, see. That's how I found it, guys. Just like that. So we called the police. I am practicing my 2A, like I always do. We called the police. They supposed to come out here and see, see what's going on with it. I think if, uh, I think if I came home and one of the doors were hanging open on my beast. Or if one of the doors was hanging open on my wife's car, we'd want somebody to tell somebody. So this, I guess, would be an educational video. We're going to see how they react and what they do for a abandoned vehicle with the door hanging open. Um, hopefully they'll locate the owner and get things straightened around everything's kosher however as we all know most stuff don't end well when you call the police but the education and the public we deserve to see how the job is done so until they get here Ohio Cop Watch signing out All right, looky guys, they're showing up. See if they, what they do. There he goes. He's parking way down the street. Oh, he's gonna turn around, and come up behind it. Let's see how he handles the situation, guys. Got me my chair out here, my garden chair. It's right there, guys. So you calm down, all calm and cool and collective. No lights on. Good and respectable. I assume he's calling in the tag. That's how I would handle it. This is what we're dealing with, guys. Truck door just hanging open. And we got this copper. I called him. If it was my truck, I'd want them to come look, see what was up, and get a hold of me. So, you know, I did the right thing. It's what what they're supposed to do. This is the kind of job that, you know, this is what we're supposed to, they're supposed to do. Shit like this. Let's see who we got. Oh, we know this officer. This is fucking no integrity shift. Yeah, this is the one that lied to me when he took me to jail. He 
took me to jail for domestic and they didn't even do their half of the fucking story. Or they'd have seen on all these cameras around my house that I didn't touch that fucking kid. But they didn't even ask me for my cameras. Um, <clears throat> usually, Officer Chef, you know, I wouldn't speak to you because you got no integrity. But yeah, it's them people over there where that White House is. White House? Yeah. Two doors down. Do you know their names? Not a clue. I don't even know why they park it there. They park it there all the time. Fair enough. I'll go talk to them. Yeah, I know if my car door was hanging open and I came home, I'd want somebody to call, right? See, he already knows my name, Mr. Clark, he says, because he's the one with no integrity. I told him, I told him when he, when he took me to jail, I said, hey, you gonna, when, I, when I beat all these charges, you're going you gonna to go ahead and give me an apology? And he was like, yeah. Now, I called him on the phone when I got done beating the charges, and he didn't do shit. He was like, oh, I remember I didn't say that. I was like, yeah, you did. So, we did... Uh, we did put in for the uh, Freedom of Information Act on the car cam, so I could put that shit on the web for y'all. However, I'm having a hard time getting footage from these people. They give me all the reports I want, but they don't seem to give me jack when it comes to actual video. See, he's down there, knocking on the side door, on the front door. Side doors hanging open. Yeah, maybe he found somebody over there. Officer Chef, let's go check out his car, guys. We don't care much for him at all. It, it was figured they'd send the tyrant down here. Because I didn't tell him my name and address or nothing. I just told him it was a corner Bennett Feast. But she already ID'd me when the call. Because, you know, they ID you when you call her ID. And then they sent this fucking piece of shit. He got a blue line flag on the front of his car and shit, guys. Got one on his fucking suit. He's a fucking piece of shit. See? Fucking blue line flag. Oh, and he left his cab up, guys. Why would he do that? Like a fucking dummy. See here? Left his fucking cab up. Why would you do that? Huh? Huh? Why would you leave that up? That's supposed to be secure information, you piece of shit. You're a shitty fucking cop. Left it running. Left it running too, wasting tax dollar gas money. Ain't cold enough out here for that fucking car to be running, nor hot enough to need AC. There he comes back around. He's gonna do something. Say something, do something. We don't plan to talk to him no more. We done gave him all the information he needs from us. Must have not have made no contact. The side door's hanging open, man. Did you try it? Oh, uh, did you make contact with them then? Was they happy to know nobody stole nothing? You guys didn't even check. 
Can I get a cab number for this report? Let's ask him. Because I would definitely like to put on his report and see what information he got. Can I get a number for this report? Certainly. Okay. You want to write it down or just say it? You want me to say it? No, I'd like you to write it down. Okay. Yeah, write down the number. Yeah. So I can Were you check the it out. On this? Huh? Were you the caller on this? Oh, absolutely. I mean, I would worry if I come home and my car was bro had doors hanging open. I would want somebody to call and find out how it goes. Fair enough. Mr. And then, you know, training exercise. We would all here in the public like to know how you handle the situation, right? Ain't that the, what what we need to do is educate ourselves on what you guys how you handle things and how things are done so that we we know if we need help. All righty, I don't got none myself. As you know, I only carry cameras. Sure wish you guys would have asked me for my footage at night. Let's get over here out of the road, guys. I don't like standing in the road. Standing in the road, dangerous. People get round over. Here's my other neighbor. They're constantly harassing him. He's a good guy, man. He comes and helps me with my garden, helps me with my dogs, helps me with my kids. And they're always harassing him because, you know, we're poor people, but we help each other. At least he locks it. All right, Mr. Clark. Here's this for you. Unfortunately, I didn't have a clean piece of paper out of my notebook. That's all right. We um, just need this case number right okay, here, guys. Number. There's the case number. It's it's not a case number. It's actually an event number. Okay, event number, um, case number. We can use it for public information to find out certainly. what was said and done. And so we um, know how this, how this process goes. So I came out here to check on the vehicle. It doesn't appear that anything's stolen, but I can't tell. Right, I couldn't yeah, tell no. neither, but I didn't um, know. I don't. I've never. I don't talk to them people, so I don't know who. Dispatch owns it. doesn't have any contact information for the owner. Yeah. And I attempted contact over there where you claim that they lived. Yeah. And nobody answered the door. Yeah. Either the front or the or the side door there. Yeah, that's um, so I just recently opened. Door Maybe somebody got hurt and they're inside hurt or something. So case law actually just changed. I can't just bombard into somebody's home with an open door because it's a nice day and some yeah. Did you like yell in there though? See if no, they, I didn't. See, I would at I least just, yell. I just case, said, "Hey, somebody I just said hello. And knocked on the door. Oh well, okay. Let's um, hope ain't none of their stuff got stolen or nothing. If if it did, I'd be more than willing to come out and take a theft report for them if they'd like to report it. Uh, well, if I see them over here, I'll tell them that it was open and tell them that you was out and looked at it. And cool. I, I mean, that's, I'll let them know. Um, may I ask why you left your cab up? Why you was why you're out doing your stuff? You're leaving your cab up. You should close that whenever you're out of your car, right? My cab. Yeah, your computer. Oh, it's not connected to anything right now. I'm having technical uh, issues. Oh, really? Yeah, that's why it took me so long to get out. There's no information on them screens? Nope. Well, that must server, suck. You need to connect to the server. Well, that must suck, but still, when whenever you're not okay. in service, okay, you, should, you should shut it for privacy. All right, there it goes, guys. I mean, we letting him know it ain't changing nothing, but... We're going to keep working at it, make change in this damn town.
he, as you see, he made contact, nobody even contact, blah, 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 blah. You can see right there, man. Look. Look. I'll show you guys. Look. Them people's doors hanging wide open. And he stuck his head in there and yelled, somebody would have come to that door. Because there's two cop cars out back, two cars out back of their house. So he ain't doing his job. He ain't doing it. He just ain't, he didn't want to, he didn't want to fuck with it, I guess, because he was on camera. But he would have knocked at that side door right there, which we did not see him do. We watched him at the front. He never come to that back door. So I don't know what to tell you, man. We're going to check into that. Right there's the number. We're going to check into it. We got our neighbors over here working on some shit. You guys are hard at work. All right. It's a high cop watch. We out.